Okay, so Studio Pierrot, which is the animation studio which is in charge of animating Naruto, just announced that Minato's one-shot manga will actually be getting an anime adaptation. We don't have any details as of yet as to exactly when this is going to happen, but let's break down the events of this manga so we know exactly what we should be expecting. First of all, that this is a canonical manga that came out by Kishimoto in July 16th of 2023. I don't even know how I missed this manga, but essentially the manga follows a younger Minato during the time that he's developing the Rasengan, and it has a really wholesome ending. It starts off with Minato, Jiraiya, and Team 6 facing off against the Jujuriki of the 4th and the 5th Tails, and they're essentially trying to extract the 9 Tails Jujuriki from them, and we see that they're both attacked by a Bijou Bomb, and Minato has to use the Flying Raijin to escape. And this is the infamous moment where Minato comes to the realization of the power of the Bijou. This is the initial spark that he gets to initiate learning how to create the Rasengan. And then we jump over to Kushina within the village. We see that she's being tormented by the Nine Tails, kind of like how we saw at the beginning of Naruto. He tries to get in her head, talking about her fear, mentioning how she is more shackled than he is. We also notice early on that she's accompanied at all times by the Anbu, ensuring the safety of the Nine Tails. Jinchuriki as well as making sure that the seal doesn't break. We see some really wholesome interactions between her and Minato and she talks about how she wants to teach him some more Uzumaki Jutsu but he actually mentions that he would rather work on his own Jutsu that he's developing to which she gets a little bit upset. We also do see little cameos with Kakashi and Guy, and that also kind of helps us determine exactly when this takes place as well, uh, because we can see that Minato's entire team is there. Minato does have to end up leaving, but which is obviously the first Okage's wife. She talks a lot about filling her vessel with love. While reflecting on this, she ends up chaining up some of the Anbu with her sealing jutsu so she can escape the seal, and immediately we notice that the Nine Tails starts to take effect on her, puffing and puffing we can see that again the nine tails is trying to give some sort of a false hope mentioning that he's the only one who can free her from those who did this to her and then we jump over to minato training his rasengan with jiraiya and i love these scenes here because it reflects almost exactly when naruto was learning the rasengan and although jiraiya doesn't know how to use the rasengan here because it's a, it's a jutsu that minato developed he does mention that it helps to match the rotation with the whirl of your hair when needing your chakra and he mentions how he visualizes his own chakra in a clockwise direction and we do see a more in-depth breakdown of exactly what he's referring to when we go back to naruto part one to quote he mentions that it's necessary to mix energies in order to manipulate chakra we all do it subconsciously and swirl those energies around inside ourselves during this exercise if you visualize the water inside the balloon swirling in the opposite direction of your personal chakra type your chakra flow gets impeded even repulsed and you won't be able to build a good rotation so in terms of naruto's hair he was a clockwise type but when Jiraiya analyzes Minato's hair, he's a little disappointed and a little bit uncertain of exactly what to do because he literally has two worlds, thus also probably correlating to the name the world within the spiral. There's also some more connection. Jiraiya offers him a popsicle, much like he did to Naruto a while later, and Minato's finally able to figure out how to put the wrestling on together, mentioning that he should need chakra equally in both directions. And this is a little bit of an homage back to Naruto when he was doing something similar because he had to require shadow clones to do the same thing for him. And this is when he comes comes up with the original name of the Rasengan, which is actually the Ice Pop inspired Nimbus Jiraiya Twin World Sphere, to which Jiraiya thinks it's a stupid name and a poor taste. Kushina soon meets up with Minato, to which Minato is a little bit confused thinking that the Anbo should be around her, but she cuts him off, basically apologizing about earlier how she flipped out on him when he didn't want to learn her sealing jutsu, but he also apologizes as well because he mentions that he broke his promise, and the truth is that he wanted to perfect this jutsu enough so he can protect her, and he again reiterates that he wants to create a new jutsu that's specialized for battles against Biju and Jinchuriki that works in concert with her own Jinchuriki volume. And again, th this is very cool foreshadowing because because it has to work in concert with her own Jinchuriki volume, it makes complete sense because Naruto ends up utilizing the Rasengan later on. This is where the quote-unquote Bijufication starts taking place. Kuruma starts kind of going all wild. And again, after seeing what happened with very unknown Naruto, it's crazy to look back and see the complete contrast between the character development that Kuruma has entailed. And it's very interesting kind of going back to his roots, seeing how 
about how much of a wild, ferocious beast he initially was. As she's starting to get taken over, Minato adds to the telegram seal with his own style that's not necessarily of the Uzumaki clan, and Kuruma immediately notes this and is actually really impressed, directly comparing him to the first Okage. This is where they exchange some kind words, and we go back to another flashback with a child Kushina and Mito Uzumaki, where we get a little bit more history about the Uzumaki clan. Again, we know that they were scattered through war, they lost a lot of everything. She talks about the strengthening seal of the Uzumaki. As they start going up the ladder, she mentions that it's a Rasen, a helix, a helical staircase, and she explains that a spiral is flat and fixed, but a helix is three-dimensional, and she slowly tries to bring the correlation between this helical staircase and what it's like to find love as well. And she mentions, even if it seems just like you're going in circles, your attitude slowly changes, and at the top is where you'll be able to find love, and then at the top you're able to see the first Okage's face. A really sweet moment. And then we go back to the present and we see Kushina trying to use her own strength, she uses her own Uz Uzumaki chains to restrain the nine tails, restrain the bijou, and she's able to calm down a little bit, but the nine tails is still fighting back and Minato is stabbed directly through the chest, much like he is going to be later on, unfortunately. So we got a little bit of an early taste of what's to come. And then he says the most, I want to pause moment of all time, where he mentions he exists inside of Kushina at all times, metaphorically and probably literally. And he directly hits Kurama, who's restrained with his Rasengan, insane feet. And again, very reminiscent of when Naruto had to submit the nine tails to get his KCM chakra. So quite an interesting moment. We soon are brought to the hospital hospital where we find out that this was actually successful. Tsunade was able to heal Minato and they go back to the Uzumaki household where Kushina hears Minato's absolutely atrocious name, brings him to the top of the staircase and comes up with the name of the Rasengan. And we end off on an extremely awesome image which I absolutely love showing a lot of foreshadowing where we see Minato lined up with the faces of the other Hokage because obviously we know he's going to be the next one. Again a very very wholesome manga one shot. Uh, we know exactly what to expect in this one shot and I'm very very excited to see it because obviously everybody loves Minato and we want to see a little bit more. Um, something I do want to see more of in the future, I kind of hope that they follow this trend of showing us more stuff of Minato because we don't really know too much about when he was younger. We don't, we only really know from the time that he was pretty much an adult or close to an adult. We don't really see too much of when he was a kid, but we know that he was a genius. So I would like to see a little bit more when he was younger as well. But also the story of actually developing the Rasengan is one that I find particularly interesting. And I can't believe I didn't know this one shot even existed but anyways let me know what you guys think down below let me know what other stories you guys would like them to animate as well if you guys want to talk with me or talk to the community uh, be sure to join our discord server down below as well as checking out our channel hoodies and i'll catch you in the next one